Interesting news from the uh, discipline department of the National Hockey yeah, the League. Yeah, the league, yeah. Former NHL tough guy, that man right there, George Peros, is the new head of the league's Department of Player Safety. He joined the department last year, serving as director under Stefan Quintel. Peros racked up more than 1,000 penalty minutes in his nine-year career. He fought a lot. Mm -hmm. Is a retired tough guy the right person here, Tim? Mm -hmm. Is he the right person <laughs> to handle the lead of the Department of Player Safety? Yes or no? I'm probably the wrong guy to ask this question because I believe in the code, and I believe that Perosh, in his time in the NHL, was one of the keepers of the code, so would understand what is cheap, what is dirty, what players will put up with, and what players won't put up with. And I know there's a lot of people out there going, how could you put a fighter in charge of player safety? It makes absolutely no sense until you've actually played the game, been around the game, or understood what the keepers of the code were attempting to do, whether or not they did it well or not. This is a Princeton grad. This is no dummy. This guy has been through the ringer and also has the pedigree. So I think this is a great hire by the NHL, but I know there's a lot of people out there going, it's an oxymoron. Well, let me play the role of some of those people here. Mm -hmm. let, let me play devil's advocate. Go ahead. Is a guy who has perils his past in the game of hockey, mm -hmm. an enforcer, mm -hmm. is he more likely to be harder on guys in this role, or is he more likely maybe to look at a situation, because he may have been in one mm -hmm. that's similar, and said, Maybe I won't completely throw the book when anyone in a more neutral position mm -hmm. would look at it very differently. If you believe that he's just a puncher of faces, and I don't believe he was just a puncher of faces. I believe he was out there looking out for the best of his teammates and will do the same as the director of player safety. And I know that there's people out there that don't understand that, can't wrap their head around it. But that's exactly what he was as a player. Go read. There's a fantastic column, uh, Seth an ESPN columnist, Seth Wertherstein, I forget his name, Wethersham, don't worry, I'll tweet it out later on, um, ended up kind of explaining his role as a tough guy, and it is a fantastic it's worth, column it's worth a read as well on George Paros. It's worth the read, and it kind of leads down that road of how he understands his role, understood it was going away, and now, I think, is in a position to oversee the rest of the league as he did his teammates yeah. or at least attempted to. I think the other thing that has to be said here is that this job sucks. Yeah, it does, whichever way it is. This job is ass, mm -hmm. okay? Every GM is yelling at you for every reason. And every fan is. And every fan and certain media people, I don't yell. <laughs> I can't yell. Everyone is going to hate your guts at some point. Yeah. And you are not going to be Mr. Popular, and that's why there's a lot of turnover in this position. So regardless of what you do or don't think of George Peros and his suitability for the role, I doff the cap to anyone who takes over this thankless job. Yeah. Because the National Hockey trying to police the National Hockey League yeah. is is insane. Yeah. And I, I wish him nothing but the best. He's gonna have hard times. They all do. But uh, on that note though, I'd like to make it very clear nothing but respect for George, because this job sucks. Right. And he could whoop your ass. Yeah, well Dagan can give me a go. Uh, Everyone, George Perry.